Hey there, it's Jimmy again. As you guys might remember, a few weeks ago, we did a beautiful BMW E30 1991 318i, one of the last ones of that generation. And it was remarkably complete. Um, that wasn't very long ago, but uh, I'm back here again and I can do a little follow-up video that shows you exactly how picked over these things get in the modern junkyard. So let's just uh, hop to it. And as usual, if you like what you see, please do subscribe and like and hit notify uh, notifications and uh, they'll let you know when new videos get posted. So let's uh, let's start at the front. As you remember, it still had the grill, had fenders, had, had everything. So, well, the fenders, grill, hood, all that is gone completely. They're good parts for somebody. There's the engine block, what's left of it. Obviously something was perhaps wrong with it, or I mean, it did have what, 200,000 miles on it. So that's probably what the problem was, something in there. But uh, kind of interesting, just laying here on the ground. Everything else, somebody got the uh, five-speed manual, which is good. I think somebody was wondering, wow, that's still in there. So that's, uh, that's gone. Then in here is a bunch of little bits missing, obviously. Pretty interesting. There's the VIN number stamped on the uh, firewall. Interesting. Fuse box is still there. The shock tower. Somebody loosened the nut. There's the. That's still here. But yeah, then somebody cut off just the entire front structure. Maybe someone crashed one and needed a whole new front end after they took the body panels, which makes sense. So, and then what else is gone? Windshield wipers are gone. Actually, the entire windshield is gone. So somebody may have needed a piece of glass. And, uh, but check this out. Is there any rust on this thing? I mean, there's nothing up here. There's a little tiny rust spot right down there, but that's it. This is super solid and all very straight. Obviously this door is gone. And let's, uh, let's take a look at the inside. Wow, the inside, well, not much left, right? Although the entire dashboard's still there. Uh, I guess it was cracked from the beginning, so that's probably why it was there. Glove box is gone. Everything behind the glove box is gone down to the firewall. Speakers are still there. Kind of crap. Those, I guess those are the original BMW speakers. And then you can see the floor. It's completely solid. No issues there whatsoever. There's the center console. Here's actually the console. So someone took the shifter but didn't take the console. So that's still there. The manual HVAC controls are still there, as are the center vents and the handbrake. So then back here, we have a bunch of parts, which are perhaps probably from this car. Yeah, here's the handbrake cover. This is part of the blower motor for the HVAC. This is from the VW Beetle next door. Throw that out there. And then what else? We'll, we'll get to the back in a minute. The passenger rear door is still here. Now it's not opening for some reason. Oh, what else is gone? Let's see. The entire sunroof is gone. So somebody needed that. Pretty cool. And then looking back underneath, oh, rear axle is gone. Uh, most of the rear suspension is gone actually. Just the shocks remain. <laughs> this is super solid. And there's a little rust here, but that's just what surrounded the brake line, the wiring, I guess. Yeah, surrounded the wiring. No big deal, it doesn't affect anything. It's, uh, I think, a removable channel. But this, man, no rust whatsoever in this car. Very nice. Fuel filler flap is still here, but the cap is gone. And then the back, bumper's gone, obviously. Trunk lid's still there. The 318 eye badge is still there. I guess there's not much demand for a 318 eye badge, huh? We never had a lower engine one here in the US, so. In here, this is where the uh, um, toolkit was. Trunk carpet's gone, spare's gone. There's a photo of somebody, looks like a prom photo. Maybe the owner, who knows? And then this little carpet trim piece is still there, but most of the stuff in here is kind of gone when we see the pass through. And then let's see, yeah, the whole back end is still there. So that's complete. That's kind of cool. Let's close that up again. Rear window is still there. So with the defroster elements, then back end's complete. Again, no, no rust anywhere there. That's cool. 
that's interesting so the VIN is stamped in here also <laughs> under the rear bumper good to know side trim is gone it was gone on the other side as well but the roof molding is still there so that's interesting and these doors on the driver's side are still here so although they're a little jacked up i don't remember i don't think they were jacked up before though that might have happened here let's look in here so this is the uh ski sack pass through that would have gone right in there I'm trying to remember the old seat back was i don't know if it had that in there huh because I, I think it was a replacement seat back right may not have been the original piece so but that's the seat back or the ski sack pass through cover thing and then here's just some extra sound deadening extra stuff there's a little compressor some wiring spark plug well here's the spark plug wiring from the engine and uh that door panel is gone on that side as is the door panel on this side but the opener is still here this glass is all still here driver's door lock is gone as are the rub the rub strips door panel and the glass in this case and then here we see the floor again again in excellent condition with drain holes that's interesting i didn't know there were drain holes in these so that's kind of cool there's multiples of them let's see accelerator pedals there other pedals clutch and brake are gone and then you can still turn the lights on if they were there vents still there but instrument cluster is obviously gone looking up now the roof headliner is still kind of there it was cut out though for the sunroof as are the uh, grab handles so they're still there and yeah not uh not a whole lot left but yeah it's the same yeah it's the same car i mean there's the vin from last time and uh what else speakers on the floor this side also looks just as clean as the other side yeah a completely rust free 1991 bmw 318i and this is pretty much what it looks like so it, you know after a few weeks in the junkyard another few days and this thing will probably just make its way to the crusher and be replaced with something else so anyway thanks very much and uh if you like what you saw please do so subscribe and uh, we'll keep making these thanks bye